Hello and welcome to this episode of Dread Captures, the ultimate destination for those who seek the thrill of witnessing the unexplained. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the most compelling and jaw-dropping camera footage we can find. Trail cameras, security cameras, and other recording devices can capture events that occur when no one is around. We have gathered trail camera footage of wild animals, cryptids, paranormal activity, along with mysterious creatures lurking in the shadows and strange sightings and phenomena that defy explanation. We have it all. Our team of experts scours the internet and beyond to bring you the latest and greatest in the world of wildlife and the unknown. So whether you're a seasoned cryptozoologist, a veteran outdoorsman, or just a curious viewer, buckle up and get ready for an adventure like no other. Now, let's get into the captures. A couple in Russia were driving through a wooded area late at night, completely unprepared for what was about to happen. As they made their way down the road, a tree suddenly crashed to the ground right in front of them, forcing them to drive through it. Thankfully, there was no serious damage, and no one was injured, but the driver was understandably shaken by the sudden event. While it seems like this was merely a random branch falling, some viewers have suggested something more mysterious. A few people commented that it could have been a Sasquatch or a Yeti that threw the tree. They pointed out that even though the road was dark, it didn't seem to be lined with trees. I'm not sure what to make of it. Personally, I think the tree just fell, as the way it came straight down doesn't look like it was thrown by someone or something. Nevertheless, it's an incident that was undoubtedly terrifying for those involved, and it leaves room for speculation and imagination. Have you had a chance to check out this unsettling footage? It's a clip from a travel show presented by James May, and what the cameras have captured is truly intriguing. What is that? Because these woods are very much like the ones near where I live. In South Wiltshire, it's got the same gradient, it's got the same. At first, some viewers dismissed it as a mere editing error or a glitch in the video. However, many others believe that this could actually be a real ghost caught on film. To my eyes, it appears to resemble an old soldier, possibly wearing a traditional long cloak. But I'll leave it up to you to decide. What do you think it could be? Let me know in the comments along with whether or not you believe in ghosts. The footage of the so-called Fresno, California Nightcrawler might be among the oddest videos supposedly depicting an alien being that you'll ever encounter. first glance, you might find the footage laughable. The appearance of these alleged creatures in the video can make anyone skeptical. In fact, when I first watched it, I remember thinking, it looks like a pair of pants running off. But for those who specialize in debunking videos, this one proved more challenging to dismiss than anticipated. A sci-fi TV series called Factor or Faith made attempts to debunk the Fresno Nightcrawler footage. However, no matter what methods they employed, they were unable to replicate the creatures captured in the video. Ultimately, they labeled the footage as inexplicable. A year after the episode aired, another similar video surfaced. This time, the supposed alien was captured in Yosemite National Park, a location 60 miles away from the original sighting. Thank you. 
Moreover, images began to emerge online, displaying peculiar wood carvings. People claim that these carvings were ancient American Indian statues representing the creatures, but these reports remain unverified. So, are these bizarre beings genuine extraterrestrial creatures? Or is it merely a clever hoax using pants as a puppet? I'd be interested in hearing your thoughts on this curious matter. On Dread Captures, we have covered a number of clips highlighting animals in their natural surroundings. We've heard bobcats and mountain lions mating calls. We've featured deer and elk during their rutting season. The sounds these creatures make are incredibly varied, serving not just as mating calls, but also as warnings of potential danger. Now here's a clip that's rather intriguing. A police officer in Texas stopped at a rest area and managed to record an extraordinary sound coming from the woods nearby. Just listen to it. <laughs> I'm starting to regret that I stopped at this rest stop. <laughs> oh, and they say Bigfoot isn't real? The volume of this bellow is striking. It's not just loud, but has an almost otherworldly quality to it. Could this be the call of an exceptionally large stag or elk? Or is there something more mysterious at play here? The police officer who recorded this sound has a tempting suggestion. Could this be the cry of Bigfoot? As much as some insist that Bigfoot is nothing but a myth, this sound certainly makes you wonder. It's a question that lingers and invites speculation. What do you think it could be? In this video, opinions are starkly divided between those who believe what they see and the skeptics. A scene unfolds where a teenager is filming a school project when something weird occurs. The camera seems to catch a glimpse of something, or someone, staring at him through the window. You'll need to watch closely as it's a brief moment. At one point, the family dog leaps up to fetch a tennis ball, inadvertently pushing the blinds aside. That's when you can faintly recognize half of a face peering through the window. Can you see it? Something is unmistakably peering in at them. Some viewers believe this could be an alien, or even Bigfoot. The debate rages on as the face seems to be more than just a reflection. It clearly resembles a face, possibly some sort of humanoid or unknown creature. Some have suggested it might be a hoax, with a fake dummy or statue placed outside the window. But as others have noted, the dog doesn't seem alarmed by the face. Maybe it's just too engrossed in chasing the ball to notice anything else. What adds to the authenticity is the difficulty in staging this. To fake the video, the dog would have to be trained to jump on the couch at precisely the right moment, something that seems unlikely. There's no evidence of any commands given to the dog either. All in all, the video feels genuine and natural. It's a piece that certainly sparks debate and captures the imagination, whether real or a clever fabrication, and whether it depicts an alien, Bigfoot, or something else entirely. It leaves us with a lingering sense of curiosity and wonder. Leave me a comment and let yours be the one that unravels the mystery. In a chilling piece of security camera footage, something quite unsettling has been captured. Taken in the still dark night with no other source of illumination but the camera's IR light, this video has ignited quite a conversation. Let's take a look. What was caught on camera is deeply disturbing and seemingly inexplicable. Some initially thought it might be a flash, perhaps even a vampire, given the eerie trail it left behind. The dark figure that suddenly zoomed into the frame appeared supernatural, and the person whose trail camera caught the image was convinced he was dealing with something far from ordinary. Others, however, were more skeptical, speculating that it could be a shadow of an animal like a bird or a swooping bat. As much as we want to settle for that mundane explanation, the ghostly appearance and otherworldly speed of the movement leave us questioning any straightforward answers. A well-known cryptid hunter has weighed in on the footage and is almost positive that this is evidence of the elusive Mothman. For those unfamiliar, 
The Mothman is a legendary creature reportedly seen in the Point Pleasant area of West Virginia, described as a man-sized entity with glowing red eyes and wings like a moth. It has been associated with ominous events and disasters. The sightings and lore around the Mothman have created a significant mystique, making it a popular subject in cryptozoology and paranormal studies. So, what's your take on this footage? Could it be a mere shadow or something more supernatural like the Mothman? The enigmatic nature of the video and the varying opinions make it all the more intriguing. Feel free to share your thoughts. In February 2021, a Brazilian news broadcast was conducting an interview live on air when they inadvertently captured something truly mysterious on film. The mysterious unknown object flies by in the background. When the show went on, thousands of Brazilian locals noticed the strange object again, writing into the station. Before long, the mysterious sighting made worldwide headlines with news outlets speculating on what it might be. Let me know what you think this is in the comments. A man found himself stranded in the remote Russian wilderness after his truck gave out on him. Facing freezing temperatures, he ventured into the unfamiliar landscape, seeking help. It wasn't long before an unsettling feeling overcame him and he began to believe that something or someone might be trailing him. What do you make of this mysterious circumstance? Share your thoughts and theories with me. A man was taking a leisurely hike in the mountains, appreciating the serene beauty of the nearby lake and the majestic mountain trails. It was the kind of tranquil day that anyone would find calming. However, this peaceful day took a startling turn when he detected a noise behind him. Fortunately, his keen eye spotted a mountain lion stealthily tracking him, most definitely seeing him as potential prey. Realizing that he was being pursued by the mountain lion, Fear gripped him, and he began to run for his life. Oh, shit! Hey! Rawr! Rawr! In a desperate attempt to fend off the predator, the man let out a loud roar, pulling out all the stops in hopes to get the lion to stop. Astonishingly, this raw human roar managed to halt the big cat in its tracks. It was indeed a fortunate escape on what could have been a very unlucky day. In the following footage, we introduce you to an inquisitive bear. This particular bear has made an appearance on this trail camera more than once, leaving us wondering what exactly it was doing there. One thing is clear though, the bear wasn't a fan of being watched. Deciding to take action, it used its powerful paws to attack the camera, biting and tearing at it until it was completely demolished. The bear's aggressive dismantling left no trace of its presence, and as the video abruptly ends, it becomes apparent that the camera was torn to shreds by this fierce creature. This leaves us without any further footage of the animal, leading us to believe that perhaps, like us, bears also appreciate their privacy. Jacob Gardner, while exploring last week, couldn't shake the feeling that he was being watched. Something was like in the trees, kind of like going from tree to tree. So I figured like maybe it was a bigger bird or something. Working near hiking trails in La Crucenta, Jacob decided to take a video on his phone during his afternoon break. The spot was not far from the highway and a nearby YMCA. 
However, it was only later that he realized what he had recorded. It totally hit me that like that's must have been what I heard and what was making me feel a little bit uneasy at the time. We've slowed down the video for a closer look, and you can see something swinging high among the trees. A local CBS news station presented the video to a fish and wildlife expert for review. It looks like an ape, and it de definitely could possibly be an ape. Here's what he had to say. Despite being close to a freeway, the area is not completely devoid of wildlife. Sightings of deer and smaller animals are common, but an ape? There have been no previous reports of an ape being spotted in the area. Some comments left on the video say that it is definitely an ape, others think it's a baby Sasquatch, while some naysayers believe it to be simply an odd angle of tree branches blowing in the wind. What say you guys? Well, is it a legend, a folk legend, or has a local farmer actually found proof of the mysterious chupacabra, an elusive animal said to feed off the blood of livestock? Well, that question has residents in Nelson County buzzing after a farmer captures the unusual an animal. So far, that can't be explained. WLKY's Ann Bowden went to Nelson County and to see uh, the farm and see the animal herself. She joins us now with more. And Ann, before you get going, was it as unusual as residents are saying it is? Rick, I, I really cannot explain it. It is hard to explain it. And unless you see it in person, pictures really don't do it justice. It is just freakishly weird. And you don't know how to explain it, whether it's a chupacabra or not. The discovery occurred when the farmer, Mark Catherine, noticed something strange in his field. I saw something smooth down in this little field below the house here. And it uh, just looked unusual. The creature came closer to Mark's farmhouse prompting him to take a better look through his binoculars. His wife joined him, but the more they observed, the stranger it appeared. Strange, so I'm going to get my rifle and shoot it and, and get a close look, you know. And I'm glad I did because it's, you know, I don't know what it is. It's been anything from a big rat to a, a, the legendary chupacabra. Many times these chupacabra sightings end up being a dog or coyote with mange, and that makes sense. However, some time back, a lady in Texas killed one and had its DNA tested, and it came back as an unknown species. Really makes you wonder what we're dealing with here. Here's a delightful clip that showcases two charming baby fawns sprawled on a gravel road. These innocent creatures seem to believe they're hiding from the human filming them, who they likely view as a threat. Yet, their attempt at concealment is amusingly ineffective, as they're quite noticeable. Nevertheless, it's an incredibly cute and amusing moment to witness. These fawns are seen bedding down, lying as low and motionless as possible. Whether it's an innate behavior or something learned from their mother, their intention is to remain undetected. If you've ever been in the woods and had a deer suddenly leap up beside you, you know how startling it can be. But it's also remarkable how close these creatures can let you approach before they decide to move. This leads to a couple of intriguing questions. If you were to come across these two baby fawns on the road, what would your reaction be? And what's your theory on how they found themselves in this unusual situation to begin with? In the scenic woods of Oregon, a group of musician friends were enjoying a jam session when an unexpected incident took place. In the midst of their playing, a small creature suddenly launched an attack, striking one of the friends, Derek, on his shoulder. The instruments fell silent as everyone stared in shock at the tiny assailant. It was a bat, and it had hit Derek with a soft thump, then proceeded to climb up his body. The group watched, horrified, as Derek felt the cold snout of the bat and its tiny but sharp teeth sink into his neck, perilously close to his jugular vein. In a desperate move, Derek managed to throw the bat off, only to see it fly into a nearby tree, where it continued to watch them, eerily silent. Though shaken, the friends tried to dismiss the incident as a one-time freak event and resumed playing, but the bat was not done. It made two more aggressive swipes at Derek. That was enough for one of his friends, who took a BB gun and shot the bat. The friends collected the dead bat 
and took it to the local health department for testing. The results confirmed their worst fears. Derek had been bitten by a rabid bat. The following days were filled with anxiety and discomfort as he underwent a series of rabies shots. This chilling encounter serves as a cautionary tale and a reminder that even a casual outing can turn into something far more serious. It's an experience the group is unlikely to forget, and it leaves us with a lingering sense of unease about what can lurk in seemingly peaceful surroundings. With the rise of artificial intelligence, it's getting harder to tell what's real and what's fake. Consider this image, for example. It looks genuine and might very well be. Here's the story. A hunter put a hidden camera in a tree and left it there for weeks or even months. When he checked the footage, he found something truly unsettling. An unknown hairy creature on all fours. What do you make of it? To me, it might be a young Sasquatch. It's on all fours and covered in hair like you'd expect from a Sasquatch. But its legs and lower half seem slimmer than others I've seen. Without more footage or different angles though, we can't be certain. What do you think? Could this be a juvenile Sasquatch or something else entirely? I'd love to hear your thoughts, so please share them in the comments. A man recently submitted a video to a channel claiming that his trail camera caught a skinwalker transforming back into its human form. Let's take a closer look. In the footage, we can see a forested area with what appears to be a human figure, specifically a man, covered in mud and centered in the frame. He seems to be moving from left to right. The scene is puzzling. It's not something you'd typically expect to find. After all, who would be wandering around this area naked, coated in mud, unless they were in the process of shifting from a wild creature back into human form. Now, I know that sounds bizarre, but we've witnessed plenty of unexplainable things in our world, so I can't entirely dismiss the possibility. We're inclined to think that the person who submitted the image may be onto something and could very well be telling the truth. Unfortunately, we don't have information about where the image was captured. So, what's your take on this? Could we be looking at a real-life skinwalker in the midst of transformation? Or perhaps it's just a human caught in an unusual situation in the woods. There's always the chance that it's an elaborate hoax, too. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this mysterious occurrence. Caught on dash cam in the midst of a blizzard in Buffalo, New York, is a sighting that will stop you in your tracks. As you direct your attention to the right side of the screen, an unusually tall and slender figure emerges from the snow's cover. Some believe this to be the Slender Man, a mythical entity characterized by its towering height, featureless face, and elongated arms, often associated with the stalking disappearance, and general terror of its victims. The authenticity of this capture remains a hot debate. Personally, the extended reach of the creature's arms and its lack of effort to conceal itself raise my suspicions. However, the intrigue surrounding the sighting is undeniable. So I want to hear from you. What's your take on this eerie encounter? Is it a genuine glimpse of the legendary Slender Man or just a clever fabrication, real or fake? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Back in 2008 in Kamburgas, Turkey, there were numerous UFO sightings reported across the region. During one of these instances, a man captured what he thought was a UFO hovering over the sea on his video camera. The device he used had a telephoto adapter, enabling him to zoom incredibly close to the alleged UFO. The video was so detailed that several people who reviewed the footage speculated that the cameraman had caught a glimpse of the craft's inhabitants peering out of a porthole in the vessel. Research institutions in Turkey and expert teams in the US, Japan, Chile, Brazil, and Russia analyzed the video footage. 
Their unanimous conclusion was that the video had not been tampered with or edited. Additionally, four other individuals attested to witnessing this peculiar UFO sighting. While skeptics have argued that the Cumbergas UFO video is merely an upper deck of a cruise ship seen from a distance, proponents of the UFO theory have refuted this claim with compelling counter evidence. So, is this video showing a genuine spaceship with extraterrestrial occupants, or is it just an optical illusion created by the upper deck of a cruise ship? What's your take? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. This upcoming trail camera footage, taken on a wooded path, reveals something both shocking and eerie. Take a look. Did you see that? Behind the trees, a white shadowy figure can be seen darting through the forest. What might that mysterious apparition be? A ghost or spirit, perhaps? While it could be dismissed as a camera trick, that explanation seems unlikely. Everything about the footage feels authentic. The notion of encountering a ghost or spirit has always been a captivating idea. Throughout history, people have reported supernatural sightings, and tales of ghostly figures are embedded in many cultures around the world. Could these stories hold some truth? This footage might just be proof, as it's one of the most convincing ghost images we've come across. How else could you possibly explain what's captured here? In October 2020, an attentive researcher was combing through satellite imagery of Antarctica when they stumbled upon something that made author Brad Olson pause. There appeared to be a metallic object, partially buried under ice. Upon closer inspection, it certainly gave the impression of a protruding disk, casting a shadow on the icy surface. Olson suggests that as the ice melts, what seems to be an extraterrestrial vessel is becoming visible, perhaps left there millennia ago. However, the question remains, what extraterrestrial being would abandon their vehicle in such a barren location? In September 2018, over the Mediterranean Sea, an F-18 begins its descent towards the deck of the USS Ford carrier. The ideal conditions hint at a precise landing. However, suddenly, as it goes to touchdown, we actually see a triangular shaped UFO, like something that would be right out of an alien movie. Historically, UFOs have been certain types of shapes. You've got cigar UFOs, saucer UFOs, and triangle UFOs. So the fact that there was a triangle UFO on this aircraft carrier, that really sent the UFO community into a frenzy. Some are wondering, hmm, is this original video really the original video? Or did they edit out the triangular shaped UFO to keep us from knowing that they actually are harboring alien spacecraft? A haunting video uploaded on TikTok is making waves worldwide and giving viewers the chills. The uploader, a scrapyard worker, begins by guiding us through his workplace. A este Mercedes lo balasearon. Lo balasearon y el, el señor o oh, muchacho no sé qué ha sido. The camera focuses on a car filled with bullet holes, an eerie relic of a violent episode that claimed the life of a young man. Otros, otros tres. No, este... But what follows is even more alarming. Check this out. A car missing a tire lurches clumsily across the lot. Its exposed axle grinding against the ground. It pulls up and stops in the same spot the bullet hole car was in. With no one driving the car, everyone is left speechless. 
Could this be evidence of a supernatural presence in the scrapyard? Could this occurrence be linked to the horrifying gunfire incident that ended a young life, with the car standing as a bleak tribute to his untimely death? For now, without a definitive explanation, the video stands as a gripping reminder of the tragic incident, leaving me wondering, is this the doing of a restless ghost or just a peculiar mechanical malfunction? Only deeper investigation or time might expose the reality. This is unbelievable footage here. Check this out. Man, this is amazing. Yes. Okay, I think I'm gonna retire now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. During a relaxed conversation outdoors, the group is suddenly interrupted by something that defies explanation. Early into the video, the cameraman zooms in on a bizarre phenomenon known as the Paulding Light. This intensely glowing white shimmer has no identifiable source, and it captures the attention of everyone present. As they discuss what this mysterious light could be, two more lights suddenly appear. These lights dart across the skyline, fading in and out, sometimes appearing red, and at other times, the single white light grows remarkably large. The objects move with astonishing speed and even seem to be approaching the group. Although a bit alarmed, the group feels relatively safe since they're near their cars and can leave if things get too intense. They continue to film the strange occurrence. One person suggests that the lights might be car headlights, but the erratic movement dismisses this theory for the rest of the group. In truth, no one knows exactly what the Paulding light is or how it originated. Local legends offer some intriguing explanations. Some believe the light is the lantern of a deceased railroad worker who met a tragic end on the tracks. Others think it could be a manifestation of the Grim Reaper himself. After watching this video, I'm eager to hear what you believe this unexplained phenomenon might be. This video, having made the rounds on social media, really leaves its mark on you once you've seen it. It shows a goat standing eerily upright on its hind legs in the dim light. The goat's eyes appear black and stationary, as though they're gazing directly into the soul of the individual behind the camera. Throughout history, goats have been symbolically tied to paranormal and satanic activities, often used to represent evil. Videos like this remind us why these animals can spark a profound unease in some people. Interestingly, many who have seen the video speculate that the creature could be a skinwalker, a being from Native American folklore known for its ability to shapeshift into any animal. Without any backstory, 
we are all left to our own devices to speculate about the circumstances. Is this animal possessed? Is it a supernatural entity like a skinwalker? Or are we simply allowing our imaginations and fears to take over? Guests at this party were floored when this dog seemed to run across the water. Their faces are covered in shock and awe. My best guess is, there is some trickery incorporated into this. But man, it really looks real. If you watch closely, the guy in the light shirt in the middle of the screen turns around and the dog catches his eye. And he very naturally tracks him over the water and off the left of your screen. It just looks so real. Anyhow, if you have a take, other than this being a hoax or maybe a personal experience with something like this, I'd love to hear it. This intriguing video appears to show the face of Bigfoot, and I have to admit, its resemblance to human features is quite unsettling. Yet, as you study the enormous size of its head and the notable space between its round eyes, it starts to look less like a human and more like something else. The creature in this footage seems at ease, and possibly even curious as it turns its gaze toward the camera. It's aware that it's under observation, but it also seems to be observing in return. Some Bigfoot enthusiasts have stated in other videos that these beings often assign one member of their group as a lookout to safeguard the family. We've presented previous videos on this channel, featuring close-up images of what's believed to be Bigfoot's face, but the clarity in those instances wasn't as high. This new image aligns with those earlier captures, adding further weight to the argument for Bigfoot's existence. What do you guys think? Do we have a high resolution video of Bigfoot or is it a hoax? Where's mom? As I was pulling up to this, was a moose calf right on the shoulder of the road. I watched a couple of vehicles just about hit the calf. I just stopped, I opened the door and immediately she was crossing the highway towards. As the mom is nowhere in sight, a man approaches a lone moose calf stranded near the highway with several vehicles narrowly missing it the man decides to step in the moment he opens his truck door the calf seemingly makes a beeline toward him crossing the highway fearlessly the man narrates the unusual encounter on the spot questioning the calf's strange behavior apparently it's not the norm for a calf to be alone and certainly not trying to climb into his truck. So, I happened to glance over and there was a bear there. So I just went, oh, shit. just thought, well, you can't go in the driver's side. That's not going to work. So just kind of herded her around the passenger side. She was happy as a clam. Pretty glad she wasn't still standing outside. Suddenly spotting a bear nearby, the man quickly reacts. Realizing that directing the calf to the driver's side won't work, he guides her around to the passenger side. She seemed content which he was relieved about, considering the looming bear threat. He jokingly warns her against licking the truck, and they share a bonding moment on their journey back. Reflecting on the encounter, he admits he didn't spend too much time thinking about the possible consequences, or who he might upset. He simply saw a creature in distress, and felt the need to assist. I'll admit I didn't sit there for half an hour going over every scenario, and who I'd upset, or I just... I went, you came for help, I gotta give you help. However, this heartwarming tale takes a different turn, as his employer didn't view his actions as kindly. They terminated his employment, stating that this was the last in a string of events that went against their wildlife interaction policies. They have shared more information about their decision, which can be found if you're curious. It suffices to say... His well-intentioned act resulted in an unexpected job loss, but he is a hero in my mind. Let's go. This one's a little bit unusual because uh, as heartwarming as you may find that video, the company he worked for has a very different view. Worked for as in they fired him. They said there were a series of events culminating in that which they say uh, violated their policies in terms of dealing with wildlife. They have other details that they've released, and if you're interested, I'm sure you can find it. I'll just leave it at the fact that that led to him staying in the helping mindset on a remote logging site 
employees discovered a moose trapped in their lumber mound. They quickly called a claw crane to help free the animal. Their initial attempt involved removing a single log, hoping that would work to release the moose. However, it remained trapped. The workers began to remove a few additional logs, but to no avail. The next step was to remove the entire heap to free the moose. Once they eventually managed to untrap it, their job wasn't finished. The moose remained stuck on the icy bank and still needed help to get out. The crew gently lowered the crane and secured the moose before delicately transporting it out and setting it free. A truly remarkable camera capture. Here's a video that's creating a buzz and raising eyebrows across various social media platforms. A user on Instagram shared a fascinating video from a mountainous region in Chile. Have a look. <laughs> The video showcases an odd object in the sky, bearing a startling resemblance to a humanoid figure, hovering ominously in the air. Naturally, this sight has ignited a flurry of assumptions, with ideas ranging from extraterrestrial activity to governmental intrigue. Some users suggest it could be an alien or even a witch. To truly grasp the breadth of these speculations, we must delve into the rich realm of Chilean paranormal lore. Chile, like many other South American nations, has a rich history of supernatural mythology and reported encounters with mystical entities. Witches, in particular, play a significant role in Chilean folklore. In Chiloé, an island in the southern part of Chile, stories of a witch's sect known as La Recta Provincia abound. As per local legends, these witches possess the power to transform into birds or even sweep through the skies on a magical boat. So, what's your take on this peculiar sighting? I'm eager to hear your perspective on this one. What are you going to do if these three walk up in your yard like they own the place? I'll answer that. Like me, you're most likely going to let them enjoy themselves in your pond. These young cubs make a beeline for this koi pond, and they don't hesitate, they just plop right in. A few commenters said that they were going to eat all the fish from the pond, but honestly, it doesn't look like they're hungry. It looks like they're hot. A quick side note, look how big Mama Bear is compared to the garage door. I know it's likely a matter of perspective, but she looks gigantic. As far as the bears potentially eating the fish, well, they are omnivores and have been known to eat fish, including koi from private ponds if they're accessible. They are opportunistic feeders. Also, I love how Mom keeps plucking them from the pond, and they get back in. Reminds me of myself trying to get my kids out of the pool. Cubs are kids, they just want to play. When mom is really ready to go, she just starts walking away, pretending she's going to leave. Yep, that trick works every time. You certainly wouldn't want to bump into this guy while out on a hike. This heart-dropping video records a close encounter between humans and a mountain lion. The person who captured this footage and their family unexpectedly come across the surprisingly calm big cat during an early evening walk. Luckily on this occasion, the mountain lion doesn't seem to be in an aggressive mood. While it's rare for these creatures to attack humans, it's worth noting that if they were inclined to hunt us, they certainly could. With that in mind, it's essential never to act submissive around a cougar if you want to make it out alive. In this particular instance, the majestic animal remains calm and stationary, allowing the humans to appreciate its stunning appearance. A woman from North Carolina claims she's had numerous extraterrestrial encounters throughout her life, but one specific event altered her existence irreversibly. Does her story sound familiar to any experiences you've had? Here's her account. I remember having difficulty sleeping. 
It was 1.41 a.m. and I was tossing and turning, when all of a sudden I felt lifeless. I was completely paralyzed, and then I started to float upward. My vision was consumed by darkness, punctuated by passing lights. As I glanced up, a triangular object with lights underneath it was looming above me. Then everything went black. I regained consciousness in an unfamiliar dark room, lying on a table. Suddenly, I felt vibrations throughout my body, occasionally accompanied by an involuntary groan. Although I couldn't see anyone, I sensed a presence. When I was back in my bed, it felt as though I was emerging from unconsciousness. For a whole week after this incident, I was constantly exhausted. It wasn't until I was in the shower, praying, the next day that the memory of the event hit me. It was so overwhelming it brought my prayers to a halt. I felt powerless during these abductions, sometimes aware of the surroundings, sometimes not. As far as I can recall, I've been abducted several times, but my memories of these incidents were largely blocked. Only in the past dozen years have some memories started to resurface. One particular abduction in 2014 left a lasting impact on me. I was watching television when suddenly the power cut out. Before I knew it, I found myself being carried away. This time the surroundings were well lit, and I could see figures standing around me. As I was returned to my room, I saw the silhouette of what appeared to be an alien. It was tall, thin, and its head was large. At first, I thought it was my son, and started calling out to him, but he didn't respond. Suddenly, a flash of light appeared from where the figure was, and it disappeared. Upon checking, I found my son fast asleep. The morning after, while I was parking my car at work, two joggers ran unnervingly close to my vehicle. I never saw their faces, and I never saw them again. I found this odd, especially following the abduction. After the encounter, I suffered allergic reactions, internal bleeding, and severe pain in my reproductive organs that left me unable to walk. I've witnessed unexplained apparitions and dark figures in my room. Certain types of aircraft cause a ringing in my ears. I've seen flashes of light when outside at night. Sometimes I'd be driving and have no recollection of how I arrived at my destination. My daughter has heard strange sounds, like those of a surgery, coming from my room. On some occasions, my TV turns itself off. It's been nine years since that life-changing encounter in Fayetteville, North Carolina, back in January 2014, and the severe effects of the abduction continue to haunt me. In Suffolk County, England, a secluded forest near the village of Rendlesham is renowned as the location of one of the most notable UFO incidents in history. While on a standard patrol at a U.S. Air Force base, Airman John Burroughs was directed to inspect a potential aircraft crash. As they neared the peculiar craft, Sergeant Penniston allegedly observed a massive craft hovering just past the trees. Is it possible that the vessel seen by James Penniston and John Burroughs originated not from a far-off galaxy, but a different moment in time? Definitely something to think about. I never had a feeling of it being extraterrestrial. It's always been that they were simply us. This next clip is quite insane. We see a fox and a wolf literally frozen in time, seemingly right before they were set to attack one another. Now, if someone mentioned this scenario to me, I'd have found it pretty hard to believe. I would definitely need some evidence. Two predators seemingly frozen in a moment of confrontation. I mean, what happened here? I see the snow on the ground, so my first thought is that they froze in place, which seems nuts. Could we be looking at expertly crafted taxidermy? Man, I just don't know. If anyone knows more about this or has a logical explanation, please let me know. This seems nearly impossible, and I'd love to know if anyone has any experience with this. In the heart of the savanna, two impalas are busy butting heads, totally caught up in their fight. Nearby, a young leopard spots them, thinking he's hit the jackpot and might grab an easy meal. 
But as the Impalas are distracted, he's a bit clumsy and too excited. Instead of sneaking up properly, he's rushing and he hesitates, missing his chance. If he's not careful, the Impalas or some other animal might spot him and ruin his chance. It appears this guy is still learning the ropes of hunting. Better luck next time. This next clip is from YouTuber Tim Wells Bowhunter. What was meant to be an ordinary hunting trip took a bizarre turn when something unexplainable appeared in the skies near Area 51, a place shrouded in government secrets and mysterious experiments. In this video, Tim and his friends were out on their usual hunting excursion, recording their adventure as they enjoyed their time in the wilderness. But little did they know that they were about to witness something truly bizarre and out of this world. New Mexico, and I'm filming with my buddy, Kay. Just as they were wrapping up their hunting trip, they spotted something in the sky about a mile away. Best I could tell, it was nearly a mile out. It appeared to be a metallic drone-like object or perhaps some kind of electronic device, moving swiftly against the wind. The sight was strange and unexpected leaving them puzzled about what they were witnessing. But then, in a sudden and eerie twist, the object vanished into thin air, leaving the hunters bewildered and full of questions. What on earth did they just see? Was it a UFO? A spacecraft from another world observing them from the skies? Or was it a bird? Perhaps just a trick of the light? The video sparked a heated debate among viewers, with some suggesting it could be an unidentified flying object, while others believed it might be a balloon, humanoid creature, or something else entirely. I have to admit myself that this is a very clear video of a clearly unidentifiable object. The mystery surrounding Area 51 and the government's alleged experiments only adds to the intrigue of this video. What really happened during that hunting trip? What did they capture in the skies that day? The uncertainty and suspense are enough to make you question what lies beyond the realms of our understanding. The possibilities are endless, and this video serves as a haunting reminder that the truth may be stranger than fiction. I wouldn't guess that this is something you see every day. A small alligator has spotted a snake on the bank of a pond. He beelines over and it's pretty clear he has one thing on his mind. He's going to make that snake lunch. He slows right before the grass as to not startle the snake. Then he quickly scampers up the bank and makes quick work of the snake, whipping and slinging it through the air. Just an incredible camera capture. Check out this next video. Yep, that's a wolf. But not just any wolf, it's massive. At first, it seems like it's just enjoying its time wandering around. And it might look like an average sized wolf. But as the camera gets closer, it's clear that this is no ordinary wolf. As I watched it, I wondered if there are any known wolves this big. Surprisingly, there are legends of a giant wolf, called the Saber Wolf or Wahila, said to live in the northwestern parts of the U.S. And guess where this video was taken? Alaska. So what do you think? Is this the legendary giant wolf? Or is there another explanation? If anyone watching is from Alaska, have you seen or heard about these giant wolves? I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. Take a look at this unusual security video shared on Reddit. A man is seen searching through his truck, and suddenly, an unexplained shadow appears to move under the vehicle. What's your take on this? 
someone suggested it could be a distorted image of a mountain lion approaching the man. I'm curious about your thoughts on this. In the upcoming clip, we dive into a vintage black and white image shared by a Reddit user. A mysterious scene that baffles the mind. The image captures a group of people standing in front of a home, seemingly just posing for a picture in the cold. Yet, a closer look reveals something deeply unsettling. Getting against the house's wall, a hazy figure of a man emerges, dressed in what seems to be formal attire, eyes trained on the group. His vague and ghost-like form sparks intrigue and an undeniable feeling of uneasiness among viewers. Many argue that this strange apparition might simply be the result of camera settings or slight motion during the shot. However, its ghostly quality challenges standard explanations, leading some to believe there's a darker story hidden within. This old photograph with its creepy shadow has an uncanny appeal. Amidst an everyday scene, this ambiguous silhouette compels us to reflect on the mysteries that might lurk beyond our understanding. Is it a simple trick of the eye? Or is there a deeper, perhaps ominous tale behind this shadowy figure? The black and white image, paired with the indistinct figure and the eerie backdrop of the home, crafts a freaky setting that makes us question reality and the potential of otherworldly forces. Whether it's a play of shadows or a hint of the ethereal realm, this image is a powerful testament to the mysteries the past might hold, inducing feelings of wonder and unease that linger long after you see this photo. Take a look at this video. Among the trees, there's a dark figure moving around. When it notices it's on camera, it tries to hide behind some trees. The whole time, it seems to be watching the people recording the video. The person who shared this video believes it's a Bigfoot. Now I'm not completely convinced. It might just be a bear. I can definitely see how someone could think this is Bigfoot especially from different angles and the shoddy camera work. And this creature is covered in fur and moves in a way that looks a lot like how a person might walk. Those staunch believers say the only creature known to look and move like that is the mysterious Bigfoot. What do you think? Is this a real video of the legendary creature? Or could it be someone trying to trick us? Coast Guard rescue footage off the coast of Brazil shows a man being rescued after capsizing his boat. However, he is not the star of this clip. The footage purportedly shows a giant megalodon swim almost directly under the man. I'm by no means an editing wizard and I'm sure this could be faked but what if it isn't? What if that really is a massive shark? Let me know what you all think and let me know the biggest shark you've ever seen in person. Mine was about 15 years ago while working on a commercial fishing boat. We netted a 10 foot tiger shark. Almost startled me right out of my waders. She was beautiful though, a bronze like iridescent color. But yeah, we didn't want any parts of that and got her quickly back in the water.
This is a crazy clip. A mother is tending to her young when out of nowhere, nature strikes. The Kangal is a powerful livestock guardian dog from Turkey's Sivas province, known for its distinctive light done to gray coat with a black facial mask and ears. Traditionally used to guard against predators like wolves, they are not only loyal and gentle with their families, but also possess one of the strongest bite forces among dogs. Their protective capabilities have been harnessed in African conservation efforts, where they help safeguard livestock from wild predators, thus reducing retaliatory killings of threatened species by local communities. I've highlighted Kangles a few times on this channel, and it's always with wonder and respect. Like many herding breeds, these dogs are fearless. Check them out against this bear. These dogs have quite the test here as they are tasked at clearing this bear from their herd. However, the bear isn't having it and gives chase. When he gets the one dog down by the creek, I thought it was over for him, but he miraculously escapes. This was a close call, but the dogs did their jobs. People in rural areas often use infrared cameras to spot animals or detect intruders on their property. A Reddit user's brother took a puzzling photo with such a camera. The picture shows the inside of a trailer, probably the living room. In the middle, we see a strange white figure that looks like a man, appearing to be in motion and maybe wearing a hat. The uploader mentioned there were no footprints or tire marks outside the trailer. Also. This figure didn't reflect on a nearby TV, suggesting it might be a ghost. Some people think it could be a moving thief or an uninvited guest. One theory for the missing footprints is that the person might have stepped in the same spots the brother did. But the true nature of this figure is still unclear. What do you think? A human or something supernatural? Let me know. Take a look at this video where an unsuspecting hiker comes across a two-legged creature, easily identifiable by its thick brown fur, at quite a close distance. For a fleeting moment, the two seem to lock eyes, and the creature becomes aware of the person behind the camera, most likely due to their sudden panicked shrieks. Lucky for both parties, the typically shy Bigfoot chooses to retreat into the forest, steering clear of any direct confrontation. What do you guys think about this clip? There is something off to me about its right hand in particular, and also the way it moves. I can't pinpoint it, but it just seems unnatural. Anyhow, let me know what you all think. Here's another intriguing clip. Check it out. In the clear light of day, this camera in the woods catches a dark figure disappearing into the forest. Zooming in, it seems eerily similar to the famous Bigfoot. The creature's black coat, sturdy appearance, and human-like shape are hard to miss. The person who shared the video said it was moving fast and definitely trying to stay hidden. Now, you might think, could it be a local animal? Possibly an ape? Here's the catch. There are no apes in this area. So, as I see it, it leaves us with two options. This is either a genuine sighting or an intricate prank. Personally, I'm hoping for the former, but what's your take? In our next clip, we follow TikTok user Blissfully Ironic as he documents a terrifying encounter in his backyard. The video begins with him hearing strange sounds from outside, initially suspecting it to be his neighbors. Unable to see anything unusual and filled with curiosity and a sense of caution, he decides to investigate further and starts recording the eerie events. What is it? Don't I hear that? Armed with a flashlight to pierce through the darkness, he begins his search, cautiously exploring the fence line of the backyard. 
As he reaches the right side, a chilling sight unfolds before his eyes. A dark figure peeks out from a structure, only to swiftly vanish within a second. The sudden appearance and disappearance of the dark figure leave viewers with a sense of dread and unease. The fleeting glimpse of this mysterious entity adds an air of uncertainty and fear to the video, sparking speculation and theories from those who watch it. Some viewers suggest that this could be one of the infamous shadow people that have been caught on camera in other paranormal encounters. Others, however, propose a more sinister possibility, speculating that it might be a robber lurking in the shadows, concealing their face with a black mask, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. I can't help but be captivated by the suspense and fear captured in this short clip. The uncertainty surrounding the identity and intentions of the dark figure fuels the imagination, conjuring up chilling possibilities that may lie just beyond the safety of our homes. Check this out as these two big boys get after it. Bucks primarily engage in combat during their mating season, which generally occurs in the autumn and winter. During these periods, they spar with their antlers, aiming to overpower rival bucks to establish supremacy and secure mating rights with females. Such encounters can be fierce, occasionally resulting in injuries or even fatalities. Beyond direct combat, bucks might display their vigor through parallel walking, pushing, and shoving matches. These confrontations play a pivotal role in determining the male hierarchy within the herd. The most dominant male, often termed the alpha buck, stands the best chance of mating, thereby ensuring the continuation of his genetic lineage. This combative behavior in deer is crucial for the species' survival, promoting the breeding rates of the fittest males and facilitating the transmission of strong genes to subsequent generations. In other words, the biggest and the baddest get to mate with the hottest female, while the others are left to fend for themselves. I really do love these videos of people helping animals. Thank you. 